Hello everyone and welcome back to Eskimonikas and we're back again with another video of mine and today we will talk about what we will talk about certain kinds of operators in quantum mechanics and these are what you call Hermitian operators. So we are on about a very general case of operators right here. In fact, the most general case you would find in quantum mechanics because these are the operators we deal with in quantum mechanics. Now, you are you are not going to find other kinds of operators in quantum mechanics. You, you will basically have Hermitian operators all the time or at least almost all the time. And why are they so important? Because they have certain defining properties that we are going to be discussing. And it's really interesting to see those defining properties, at least from a mathematical perspective, as we shall be seeing. And then first things first. Well, you have an observable A and you see that for this particular observable A, you can certainly write an operator, right? Because observables are the quantities you can measure in the laboratory, Earth's position or linear momentum or energy. So these are three examples that we consider. Well, you can write position as operator as just a multiplicative operator when you are working with web functions or position space right now you can have momentum operators minus iota h bar d over dx and these are partial derivatives you can as well have energy or hamiltonian operators and that can be minus h bar square d2 over dx square and again these are partial derivatives plus v of x now these are energy operators so for every observable let's say in any given basis in any space this can be position space maybe or momentum space well you can associate with it a certain operator so we have an observable a and we say it let's say you write for it an operator a caret and when for observable a you write a caret well you see what is the expectation value of the observable a well the expectation value of the observable a is given to be the integral of a uh, psi conjugate times a caret psi dx right if this particular system just ke liye ye expectation value of observable a measure ki jaye iske liye observables measure ho rahe hain aur laboratory mein ho rahe hain well this is in a state psi that that is given by a web function psi so you say that this is the expectation value of a right now the thing is that you might as well say that this if you define psi and a as psi as functions, which they of course are, this is the inner product of two functions, psi and a caret psi. Now, are functions like really vectors that you can write them in this way? The answer is yes, functions are vectors in infinite dimensions or in infinite dimensional space. So, functions are basically vectors said in the at the end of the day so that is the reason ye jo inner product vectors ke liye define hote hain inner product functions ke liye bhi define hote hain because functions are basically vectors or they have the same properties as vectors so here you basically have this as the expectation value of a but what's even more interesting is ki jab laboratory mein kisi bhi observable ko measure kiya jata hai well, then you certainly get a real value because when you measure something, well, you can only measure it if it is a real number that you get out of that particular thing. You don't measure complex values. So that you don't measure complex values and the observables must have real values. Well, then their expectation values must also be real, right? And that their expectation values are real when you say that the conjugate of the expectation value must be the same as the expectation value. What is the conjugate of the expectation value? You get back to this equation and you write well the conjugate of the expectation value is clearly you see the integral of psi conjugate. Now you take another conjugate well it's basically psi. Now it is psi a caret psi and the conjugate of this term dx now this is integrated all over space so that is negative to positive infinity i am not writing the limits of integration this is from negative to positive infinity now 
this thing you know as well can be written as this is the conjugate of the expectation value this thing you know can as well be written as the inner product of a caret psi and psi now that this is the inner product of a caret psi and psi aapko pata chala since well your major real values in laboratory is of course whenever you are making a measurement on a quantum particle and measuring its maybe position or linear momentum or angular momentum or energy or whatever the observable so the expectation value of the observable must equal that of the uh, conjugate of this cuz they are real values so you equate these two and well you say that the inner product of psi with a caret psi must equal the inner product of a caret psi and psi and these type of operators that for follow that satisfy this criterion these operators are called well hermitian operators now these are the operators that you deal with in quantum mechanics these are indeed the only kind of operator that you are going to need in almost all situations well the reason is cuz no matter what imaginary part you are adding to the schrodinger equation or to maybe operators themselves well the values of the observables themselves have to be real and they always are real and that they are always real indeed tells you their expectation values are always real and what we have followed this is only through the laws of linear algebra and probability and the fact that the expectation values have real uh well expectation values have real values they are real and since it's very trivial fact indeed we know that this is a very general result that will be obeyed for any operator corresponding to an actual observable in quantum mechanics that can be measured in laboratory of course so ye kafi general fact hai and that it is a general fact and that operators in general uh you satisfy this criterion tells you basically that the operators in quantum mechanics or the observables in quantum mechanics are represented by hermitian operators in fact ek equivalent definition ho sakti hai for two functions f and g and operator a caret acting on them when you say the inner product of f and a caret g can be equal to the inner product of a caret f and g and you say this is nothing but an equivalent definition and if you basically use this equation as your definition of a hermitian operator you can get from here through a little bit of mathematics to this equation and you say ki agar ek hermitian operator a caret hai which is which satisfies the equation must as well satisfy the equation so you can go from this equation if that is how you want to define a hermitian operator to this equation or in a more general mathematical sense you want to define a hermitian operator using the equation well you just say that f equals g equals psi and you can go from this equation to that equation so that these are equivalent definitions of hermitian operators and that is that they follow nearly through maybe a little bit of mathematics one way or other through each other well so either way you want to will consider more of general this definition cuz well it follows through one fact that you have that this particle is in a state given by the wave function psi and that is why we have considered a single function the wave function psi here so well then you basically see that states in quantum mechanics as we have seen are represented by wave functions now this can be the position space wave function or the momentum space wave function or as well you can write it as since you know expectation value of hamiltonian is the summation of from n equal 0 to infinity of mod of cn square en so this cn which i will call the fourier coefficient here can as well be used to represent the states of particles right so in general we use the position space wave functions but you can switch and back and forth between alternatives so here we are saying the wave functions so the states are represented by wave functions and observables are rapid in quantum mechanics are represented by 
Hermitian operators. And this is how you are going to do quantum mechanics almost all of the time. That is how you basically are going to do quantum mechanics in the future. That was all for today's video of mine and thanks to all of us.